China's aerospace sector is believed to be pursuing a sixth-generation fighter jet program. In September, the commander of the U.S. Air Combat Command ACC, General Mark Kelly, indicated that China is on track to create a sixth-generation fighter, while reiterating the necessity for the U.S. to launch its next-generation fighter before China does. The U.S. Air Force has to make sure we get to sixth-gen air dominance at least a month before our competitors. Kelly stated while addressing the media during the Air and Space Forces Association's AFA's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference. The U.S. is also pursuing the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program, which involves a manned sixth-generation stealth fighter jet with sophisticated and never-before-seen capabilities. However, top USA officials are known to be concerned about the Chinese sixth-generation program of which there is no official or trustworthy evidence in the public domain. Notably, the designs of a tailless combat aircraft presented at this year's version of Zhuhai Air Show had previously featured in publicly available Chinese aviation engineering white papers. Also last year in October, a strange tailless vehicle was observed at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's CAC's manufacturing airfield, which is thought to be a demonstration or a mock-up of a manned sixth-generation fighter jet. According to Chinese military aviation specialist Andres Ruprecht, there have been some genuine reports about a sixth-generation manned fighter project that aspires for service entrance around 2035. If the Chinese keep to that time frame, a first flight might occur at least by 2026 to 28. More crucially, Ruprecht indicated that this aim of 2035 arose in a 2019 interview with Wang Haifeng, main designer for the CAC. CAC is one of China's two primary fighter manufacturers responsible for the single-engine J-10 fighter and the fifth-generation J-20 aircraft. Therefore, it appears like a logical option for a sixth-generation fighter program. China's Sixth-Gen Manned Fighter During his remarks at the AFA conference in September, General Kelly said that China's outlook towards sixth-generation air power, including future manned fighter aircraft, is similar to that of the USAF which includes an exponential reduction in signature, exponential acceleration of processing power and sensing, and the ability to iterate improvements aided by open mission systems. The airframe of the tailless vehicle observed at the CAC's industrial airfield in October 2021 does seem suited for attaining an exponential decrease in the signature. The tailless design greatly boosts broadband's low observability against several radar types operating across frequencies, it also decreases the aircraft radar signature from the side and rear perspective beyond the head-on viewpoint. Another aspect of a tailless design idea is increased efficiency via lower drag for prolonged high-speed flying and cruising. The aircraft has a massive modified diamond-like delta platform with a comparatively slender nose portion. The wingspan looks to be nearly as long as that of a G20. This design gives capacity for plenty of fuel and a massive internal weapons compartment. It also decreases weight. This means such a design would have a long range, large cargo capacity, fast speed, and minimal observability. One of the limitations of this design might be the difficulty in obtaining stability without vertical tails, which could restrict maneuverability. However, this might be mitigated to some amount using thrust vectoring. Some unsubstantiated rumors say the aircraft might likely employ a thrust vectoring control. TVC engine based on WS-19 turbofan engine. That yet, as Eurasian Times has covered before, the breadth of USAF's NGAD program is much more than a new manned fighter, since it is a comprehensive endeavor aiming at developing a system of systems that will encompass unmanned drones, manned planes, and a new generation of networking technology. In his 2019 interview, Wang noted the capacity to work with drones, artificial intelligence, increased stealth, and sophisticated sensors. A most recent instance of this was a secret stealthy drone that also appeared ahead of the Zhuhai Air Show, thought to be a loyal wingman idea, meant to function with G20 stealth jets.